Hey everyone, how's it going? I'm inside the studio today making some images and I thought, why not share with you guys how to make some rockin' gifts out of that amazing food photography that you're already creating. Now I get really, really excited when I can squeeze some more content out of that work or those images that I'm already creating, whether it's for myself or for a client. I guess I'm just a big workflow nerd and I feel this sense of winning when I can create two or maybe even three pieces of tasty art out of one piece of content without really any extra work. Besides, GIFs or GIFs, however you say it, are fun to make. You've all seen them on your favorite websites and on Instagram for years and years. There are a couple of different photographs of the same subject put together and placed on repeat forever and they make for some delicious food photography. I'm always trying to think of ways that I could add value to the content that I'm creating, you know, whether that's rocking out a photo story while I'm shooting a video or maybe creating some stop motion and time lapses, which could be great B-roll, but also could be used as standalone pieces of content. And, you know, while you're doing a photo shoot, creating a GIF could be that value. Before we get started, I have a little challenge for you. Watch this video, create one of these easy food photography GIFs for yourself, really rock it, post it on Instagram, tag me in the description so I can see it, and in the next week, I'll pick my favorite as the winner, and as a little prize, I'll send you something that I have on all of my lenses, one of these sweet little custom-made lens gears. These little guys here are made by my friend Sean over at Follow Focus Gears, Dot com. He custom makes them to slide over pretty much any lens, but they're seriously invaluable to anyone who wants to use a regular lens like this one when they're shooting video using a manual or a motorized follow focus. Now, if you're using a follow focus on your gimbal or your slider or your shoulder rig, these things really save the day. I love them and they're custom fit to any lens that you select. So go out into the studio, create some amazing art, post it on Instagram, tag me in it, and I'll give a shout out to the winner in the next video. This is a really easy thing to do, and you're gonna to to go through that process, and this is kind of what I'm talking about. You can get some more juice out of the content that you're already creating, because you're going through this entire process anyways. You're lighting it, you're propping it, you're styling, you're creating this beautiful scene, and, and one final beautiful image. Like the final shot of these waffles, it's a nice shot. It's snowing powdered sugar on some tasty carbs. But with a little pre-planning, you can get this perfect shot and a delicious animated gift without really any extra work. I'm gonna be sprinkling powdered sugar all over these blueberry and walnut waffles here. And you should also, when you're creating your animation, no matter what it's about, get the scene set before you go and do that action. All right, so to create this animation, I'm gonna have my camera remote in one hand and the powdered sugar in the other. That way I can fire off my camera and lights fast enough to capture this action. But you don't need studio strobes to create an animated GIF. You can do it with natural light if you'd like. It just depends on the type of animation you're trying to create. If you're trying to freeze action like I am, at least turn your shutter speed up fast enough to freeze that action. But that's pretty much it when it comes to animated GIFs. They're pretty easy, so enough said. Let's get to sprinkling this powdered sugar on these waffles. All right, so to take all those images and turn them into a GIF or a GIF inside of Photoshop is really, really simple. However, I have to show you two different ways to make a GIF because although the GIF is great for the web and for your blog, Instagram doesn't accept that format for some reason. I don't know why, but I can show you the simplest and probably the easiest way to turn that GIF into a video format, which is perfect for Instagram. First, I'll start off with all of the images that I took and, and place them on a single document. Each image is a layer over here. I have image one on layer one and my second shot on layer two and my third on layer three and so on and so forth all the way up to layer 18. You don't have to have a set number of images for a GIF. You could have as many as you want or as few as you want, as I guess as long as it's over one. Now, once you have all of the images on layers, one stacked upon the other, click on Window and down to Timeline in this drop-down menu. Up pops the timeline, and this is where you'll create your GIF. And in the middle here, we have an option to create a frame animation and one to create a video timeline. I'm gonna choose frame animation to start with. Now, I can see my first frame here, and this is where I'll add all the other frames to my GIF. I'll start off by first setting 
the delay of this frame, you know, before it moves to the next frame. Now I'll set this to 0.2 seconds. But this is, is really, really important because I'm creating this for Instagram and Instagram has a three second minimum for uploading video. So I wanna make sure that my video clip is longer than three seconds or they won't let me upload it. So I'll select point two because I have 18 images, which you might have to play with depending on the amount of images you're using for your GIF. You might have to select one or two seconds even. But for me again, I'll just be selecting point two. And I wanna make sure that I select repeat forever. You can choose a, a number of options here, but forever is good for me. And for this frame right here, I want to turn on the layer that I want to display. Then I'll add a frame by clicking on this plus icon down here and turn off layer one and turn on layer two. I'll create another frame and turn off layer two and turn on layer three. Now you just repeat these steps until you're out of images or layers. Once you have all of the layers done, you can press play and see how it runs. It's pretty sweet. Okay, so just one more step and then we have this tasty gift for Instagram. Now I'll click on the icon right here to turn my timeline to a video timeline and I can see all of my layers laid out here. I'll click on this button down here that says render to save this file. Now a new box will pop up. I'll take care of all this little stuff up here like first name it. I think I'll name it uh, Waffle Sugar. I can also choose a location to save it. And then down here, the most important part uh, as this is a vertical image and I want a vertical video for Instagram, I'll change the document size to 900 by 1600. And that's it. So I'll click render and then I'll have my video. But wait, I know, I know, hold on to your hat. It's not a GIF, you're correct. But it'll play like one on Instagram. And in just a few clicks, you'll have a true GIF which you can use on your website or blog. So back into Photoshop, on the timeline, click back on that button down here and return to the frame animation timeline. At this point, I can change the delay from 0.2 seconds to no delay at all. I'll just select all of my frames, click on no delay, and that way there's no delay between the frames and my GIF is faster. Now without doing anything more, we can just click on file, export, save for web, and make sure you select GIF in the drop down menu. I like to keep everything pretty much else here the same. I'll make sure my colors are at 256 and my dither is at 100 and I'll just select the image size that I want. And I'll click save and now I have a GIF which I can throw anywhere on the web and it's animated. All right, so next time you're in the studio, you're rocking it out, you're creating some fantastic food photography, consider adding some extra value to that content that you're already creating and make one of these fun and easy GIFs. Not only are you gonna make the image that you planned on making anyways, but you're also gonna get an extra piece of content, an extra piece of art that you can share. And if you do, share it on Instagram. Tag me in it, I'll pick my favorite, I'll give you a shout out in the next video, and I'll send you one of these really cool custom lens gears from followfocusgears.com. A huge shout out to Sean over there for providing these gears, and he even sent this really cool shirt and hat. So go check them out if you haven't already. Followfocusgears.com, that's it for this video. As always, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.